time to praise Doesn't matter weak or strong Take your time and do your tricks All I do is sing along Yeah, I need you So to start off this makeup look, I'm starting by applying some concealer on my lid using a lip brush. I'm just going to carve out the brows with this as well, and it's going to act as my primer. Once that's all applied, I'm just going to blend that into the skin using my ring finger, just so it's all nice and smooth, and take what's ever left over on my finger and run this under my eye as well. I'm going to set that into place using any kind of like pressed powder. Then I'm taking the shade... Um, Beaches in Cream from the Makeup Geek palette just is like a neutral transition colour just so it's easier to blend the green shades later on. Then I'm going in with this super neon green shade from the Urban Decay Electric palette. I think it's called Thrash, Trash, I'm not too sure but I will link all the um, products down below with all the shades and everything like that as usual. So after I've applied that and like happy with the intensity, I'm taking this darker green shadow, this is from Makeup Geek, and it's called Dirty Martini, and I'm taking this thin um, blending brush from Avon, I'm just going to blend this into the crease of my eye, it doesn't really matter how neat it is at the bottom because we're going to put concealer and like purple shadow there later on anyway, it's more for like the top section of the transition, like more towards the brow bone if that makes sense. So blending that in windshield wiper motions to create like a nice kind of like flow of the dark to the lighter green. Then I'm going back in with that concealer shade and this is where it gets quite tricky to film um, and make sure that I'm in focus. <laughs> so I do apologise if I go out of focus because I keep leaning forward. Um, but I'm just taking concealer and like carving out the crease. So a good tip to do this is to kind of look ahead in front of you just and like and make a little point of where it looks where your eye is open because if you do it with just your eye closed it can look a bit weird um, if it's too high or too low. Then once I've applied that and I'm happy with like where the placement of the concealer is, I'm going to take this bright purple shadow and apply it all over the lid using a stiff synthetic brush. This one is from Nude by Nature and the purple shadow is in the electric palette which is like one of my all time favourite purple shadows, it's just amazing. So I'm applying that very heavily like on the concealer area. Um, and don't really want to smudge it in too much, like a very soft blend later on, but it's going to be, it's not going to be like a standard smoky eye when it goes from dark to light very softly, it's more, this is more of like a creative makeup look you'd wear to like a festival or like a summer party or something like that. Then my camera did cut out, which is a bit annoying, but I applied some glitter on the inner corner of my eye, this one is from Stargazer and I applied some... Um, lash glue on my pinky finger and then just applied it kind of randomly on the inner corner. I didn't want it to be super neat, I just wanted it to kind of like add something to the makeup look and I haven't used glitter in a very long while so I thought I would just have a little glitter application. So now I'm just applying my winged liner using Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and the EO6 Angled Brush which is so good. Ever since I've been, um, had this brush like I find it so much easier to do my winged liner because it's so precise. Um, then I'm applying some black a liner to the inner rims of my eyes just to kind of like dramatic like add some drama to the look my words aren't coming out today but you know what I mean and um, this eyeliner is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, it's just like their Jack Black like waterproof gel liner I'm just applying that very heavily like smudging it into my lashes as well then I'm going to take that purple shade on the same brush I used to apply it to the lid and just like tapping it underneath the black and kind of like blending it upwards so it looks very like smoky and dark and purple um, the next bit without like foundation on does look a little bit strange, but I promise you like when everything like comes together It looks so good um, So I'm playing whatever's left on that big blending brush with the kind of like lime green underneath to blend it all together Then on the inner corners of the eye I'm taking that kind of shimmery Primark eyeliner pencil and then setting that into place using a mixture of the blue and the green No, the purple and the green sorry from the Moonchild palette for, like a really cool like highlighting effect yeah, this is one of those makeup looks that looks a bit strange when you've just done the eyes, but when you've done your when you do your foundation, your lips, it all comes together, so don't worry. Then I applied a little bit of the purpley shade on my brow bone, 
um, curled my lashes and applied a generally generous shade of mis oh my god I can't talk today generous amount of mascara <laughs> so yeah um, then I just applied some falsies these are the dose of colours showstopper lashes I've used these like a bajillion times I've lost the case for them but I've, I've looked after them quite well and I just reused them now on to foundation, I'm just going to apply this all over my face, this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation, I absolutely love this foundation, I rave about it all the time, I think it's so good, especially if you're on a budget and you want something that's like proper full coverage, it's matte and yeah, it's just an amazing foundation, so you can find the link to it below if you want something that's full coverage but won't like break the bank, so good, highly recommend this foundation. This is in the shade 115, it's just like a lot paler. Um, just because my foundation, my, my like fake tan at this point was a bit patchy, so I just figured if I go lighter and add bronzer, it won't look as like obvious if I just go in with like a tanned foundation, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'm just applying this all over the face using a damp beauty blender. Got to get right up to that hairline, and then like after I do the makeup, I always take like a makeup wipe but around my hairline to get rid of any foundation in my hair. Then I'm taking this dark concealer from LA Girl, this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze, and I'm contouring the um, outer perimeters of my face, like my forehead, I've got quite a big forehead, under my cheekbones, and sometimes I go the whole, whole shebang, sometimes I don't, but I'm just applying this down the sides of my nose, just to add kind of like some shape to the face. I think I tend to do this more when I'm wearing like a paler foundation, because it adds more like life to my face. So I'm just drawing a willy on my nose. <laughs> having a little look to see what it looks like and then going under my lip and then just blending it out like crazy using the Real Techniques, um, I think it's called the Expert Face Brush, it's like my favourite brush for blending out um, cream contour products, just the shape of it I think it's really good and it's nice and dense as well so it doesn't really like, um, like where you blend is where it will go, you'll see what I mean when I'm blending it out. Um, yeah, and then any areas where it, like the cream contour looks too much, I obviously just put like a, 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 a lighter concealer over the top of it, like a highlight shade. Just blending that all out. But you'll see what I mean, like as this tutorial goes on, the look definitely comes together, um, but at first it just looks a bit of a mess. But it all works at the end, I promise. So then I'm going to highlight my face like crazy using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light on my forehead, down my nose, chin. You know the drill, people. Just basically everywhere. Like, my whole face ends up covered in concealer. But, you know, life goes on. Makeup goes on. It's all great. Have a little dance and then take your damp beauty blender and blend that all out. Whatever's left, like, on the sponge, like, after I've done my chin, I just take under my contour, like, almost just to sharpen it up a little bit. So, yeah. If you find that when you do your cream contour it always looks really messy, try doing the contour first before the highlight and then whatever's left on the brush that you use to blend out the contour with you can just go over the top with to add some darkness and um, where it may have been taken away but that way like you don't end up looking really like muddy and patchy and stuff. Then I'm going in with the cream shade from the Sleek Makeup Solstice Palette. I'm applying this to the tops of my cheekbones and kind of like blending it in with my finger and my beauty blender. Um, and then once that's done, I'm going to take the like goldy kind of shade from that palette, which is like my favourite, I've nearly run out, and applying that on top just to set it in place. I absolutely love doing my cream and powder highlight before the rest of my face powder, because I find that it just makes it pop so much more, and you never it never like wears off during the day or anything. Then I'm just taking my go-to face powder. Um, Oh no, in this video I'm using my Avon one just because I ran out of my Rimmel one. But yeah, I'm just setting everything in place using this on a Spectrum's collect Collections um, makeup brush. Just making sure it's all set. I'm avoiding the highlight areas. I don't really want to go over the top of it. Then onto contour, I'm taking the shade I always use from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's in the shade Java um, for under my cheekbones on my MAC 109 brush, like the standard go-to. Apply all under my cheekbones, on my temples, the top of my forehead. Everywhere we put the cream contour, the powder contour goes. A lot of makeup looks where people will say, oh my god, that's too much makeup. Like, it's not, it's just like layers and stuff because if you put layers on but do them in the right way so it doesn't go cakey then it will always last on you whereas if you just like apply like a thin layer it's probably not going to last um, especially on my oily ass skin like if I just apply one layer of foundation and then just do powder stuff like it just doesn't last on me at all so I've got to do layers otherwise it doesn't stay on my face anyway 
I'm going to highlight my face as well using a mixture of like the lighter shade under my eyes or my banana shade. I used to do this in literally every single tutorial so it does get a bit repetitive but it's just like my favourite go to and I haven't found anything else that I prefer. Um, then I'm just going to blend out the contour a little bit so it's just not so harsh with the powder brush. Apply a little bit of like the blue and the purple shade and the green shade to my cheekbone for like a really like unique highlight. I'm also adding that highlight like around my temples like to join with the cheek highlight on my keeper's bow. A little bit down the nose for like a really dewy pretty effect. Then I'm just going to set my brows in place using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Auburn Brow Gel. I absolutely love this brow gel because it's slightly like warmer in tone. It really goes with my hair but it's not like, it's not like bright red but I just feel like it adds that extra effect that I like rather than just putting like a dark brown or a clear brow gel. I absolutely love this stuff. Then I'm just applying some mascara to my lower lashes. Um, I don't know what mascara this is, I think it's the NYX one from what I can see. But to be honest it doesn't really matter, I just put whatever mascara on my lashes. Then I'm just going to set my face using my favourite setting spray which is the NYX uh, matte setting spray I think it's called. Um, but yeah, just fan in my face. Oh I've just remembered it's the Barry M matte setting spray not NYX. Anyway, everything will be linked down below. Then I'm going to line my lips. Um, today I'm using the MAC Boldly Bear Lip Liner. I'm applying this all over my lips and then for my liquid lipstick I'm taking Kylie Cosmetics um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exposed, which I absolutely love this one and I feel like when I don't really know what lip to pair with it, I just choose this and it just goes with every single look. I absolutely love it. But yeah, this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I absolutely love this makeup look. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Talk to me in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see, what you're up to. Just have a chit chat really. And yeah, I shall see you next time. Bye.